This is a example of the face tracking on the Sony A77 II. Uh, it'll go up to 12 frames per second. This is not on that mode. This is actually on continuous tracking with face detection on. And you'll notice here, this is one of the hardest parts of the ceremony to shoot, is when they're coming up the aisle. And I've got this motor drive sequence going, and they are coming toward me at quite a pretty good speed. Now, I have a 70 to 200 f2.8 lens wide open to 2.8. You can see how everyone around is out of focus, and yet they are in focus as they're coming toward me. And what's happening here is that it's tracking faces. Now, they're just coming closer and closer, and I'm zooming back. I'm not moving. I'm actually stationary, and I'm now this that we lost that one shot, but now this is back, and notice how off-center this is. I mean, they're literally almost right on top of me with a telephoto lens, and it stays in focus. This is probably one of the hardest parts of a wedding to shoot, and most photographers would use, say, a moderate wide-angle lens, walk up close to them, and then creep backwards, walking back at the same speed. But what's nice about this is I'm able to take a long telephoto lens and have it whap out a wicked motor drive sequence and get right into their faces, get the true impact of the moment, feel that emotion and be right in there. It's such a world of difference. And you'll notice that every split second is different than the other. And so I always find that the best shots are sometimes in between the shots that you last had. Anyway, just a whole lot of fun and I I just think it would be horrible to have to shoot a wedding or any type of uh, moving action sequence without this type of focus technology.